Welcome to Mark's Finance and Fitness. Today we're going to talk about everything squats. And believe it or not, this is a huge fat and calorie burner, so you're going to love it. When I'm doing squats, I kid you not, within the first few minutes, I start getting sweat dripping down my arms off my elbow and onto the floor, and it's gross, but it's a satisfying feeling, and that's how I know it's working. Uh, so squats, what do they do? Well, first of all, they help build your quads, which is the front part of your legs on the upper half. And what this does is it really creates that stability as those quads strengthen and grow and it adds protection to your knees and helps them from injury. Um, then of course, the big thing that everybody likes is your glutes. People love to really work on their glutes and build them up and squats is probably the number one move for that. And your glutes are your largest muscle in your body and that's, it's really the power production in a lot of movements that you do throughout the day, throughout workouts, uh, throughout different athletic movements. And so to, to increase the strength in your glutes is awesome. Um, hamstrings. Now, hamstrings are the back part of your upper legs. And this, this really helps aid in like running, walking, jogging, and even jumping. Uh, jumping is a great uh, workout. And if you think about it in a lot of athletic sports and just athletic you know, movements, you're going to jump, you're going to pivot. Uh, so to really squats really help aid in supporting that through your hamstrings. Of course, your calves, the back part of your lower legs back here, it helps strengthen these. And that really helps you to move faster, pivot, right, from one place to another, which is key in a lot of things that we do. And it helps protect your ankles. So again, you're getting your knees protected and now your ankles, which are really susceptible to injury if you don't have good, strong legs. Believe it or not, it helps strengthen your core. As you're doing squats, you're really having to stabilize and your core is a big part of that. So you even get some core in there. Um, it helps improve mobility. I'm not talking more so the range, but the strength in your movements in that range. Uh, if you think about it, anybody can have good range, but you have the power in that range as well. And that's what squats help with. Um, so lastly, like I said, it's a fat and calorie burner like you wouldn't believe. Simply put, the more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn. I had an instructor that after a good muscle workout that we did, she would say, enjoy burning calories for the next 24 hours, whether you're sitting on the couch or in the shower. So really, the more muscle you have, the more energy it, the, you know, it uses and it just burns calories. So I'm really against just you know, pure cardio workouts because there's a certain point where your muscle growth just doesn't happen anymore and it can actually diminish if you're doing a lot of cardio, where muscle work is where it creates the change in your body, the toning, the shaping. When I started doing muscle workouts, that's when I saw the change in my body. Um, and so it really helps you get lean. Squats are, require a lot of energy, which is why you burn a lot of calories and fat. Like I said, I drip sweat. Um, of course, don't forget to eat a good diet as well to help support all this. Um, so squats really are about the weight and the range. You want both, but it's okay if you start out with just using body weight. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, so we're going to get started with squats. First of all, let's go over the correct form. All right. So the normal stance is having your feet just outside your hips and you want them uh, faced out like a V shape. So you don't want them straight. You want them out. The reason this is, is this is the best form for squats. If you do a squat in this move, you're going to see how uncomfortable that is. It's not good for your knees. It will injure yourself. So you want your, your um, feet out in the V shape. And what that does is as you squat, your knees will go out at the same direction, right? So they're going out like a V two. So there's the first step. Of course, when you squat, let me turn to the side here. When you squat, your knees are going to go slightly forward, no more than your toes. And then the rest is your butt going back like you're sitting down in a chair. And when you're doing this, you want to go all the way down to your butt is just above your knee line and no lower because then you can risk injury. You want to be able to go down far enough where you get full range, but not too far where you can't come back up successfully and safely. And so, uh, as you're doing this as well, last point here is you want to keep your chest, you want to keep your posture there. So your chest up, your head up as you squat, that's really good form. 
is creating the stability in your core and helping strengthen that as well. So as I mentioned, you can do body weight. There's nothing wrong with that. You want to start out somewhere where you're going to be successful and work your way up as you get stronger because you don't want to risk injury or falling over. So you want to bar with weights. A little tip that I will give you is at your local hardware store, you can get a pipe um, insulation. It's like foam and it opens up and you can put it around your bar and it adds some cushion to your back when you put the bar on your back. And these are pretty darn cheap. So I just pop that on there. Um, now, when you put the bar on your back, there's a movement you want to do. It's called a clean and press movement. So as you bend, grab your bar, you want to come up, kind of plop it over towards resting on your hands and go over your head onto the upper part of your back, not any part of your neck. So let's do that. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see how that looks. So pick up, always bend your knees, 101, right? So if I turn to the side, I'm going to get a little movement up, pivot like that over my head onto the meaty part of my back, the very upper part. All right, so I have my legs outside my hip um, width and they're in the V shape. I got my bar on my back. We're ready to squat. So first of all, we can just do a simple uh, single squat and repeat that, right? So you can go down, up, down, up. If I turn to the side, down, up, down, up. Now, you can get creative, but what I want you to do is work with the width of your feet. So you start out with them outside your hips, and with every move we, we do today, you can do in each three of these widths. So this is the first, first width, and then what you do is you do your heel to toe out. That's the next width movement that you can do. And then the furthest you should do is one more heel to toe out. And that's the widest squat that you should be doing. Now, the wider you go, the more it's going to take the focus off your quads and into your glutes. And the further in, it's more on your quads instead of your glutes. So that's why it's good to do all three. And in the widest one, you want to push your feet out towards the walls. So back to the normal one, we're going to do them all in the, the hip width, just outside the hips. So we did the single squat. The other things you can do are you can do what's called a drop, hold, and then rise. So you want to drop quick, hold for about two seconds, and then you rise. So you hold, drop, hold, rise. So from the side, drop, hold, rise. Drop, hold, rise. Every different move that we do is just engaging different muscles or putting more focus on different muscles. So it's, it's really a range of just different muscles that, we're, that I'm showing you right now. The next thing you can do is you can get creative. So you can do like a count. So three counts down, one quick movement up. So you can do three, two, one, rise, three, two, one, rise. Do it from the side. Three, two, one, rise. Three, two, one, rise. All right. Now, <laughs> we're going to move into something a little more tougher. It's pulses. Pulses in any type of workout are basically evil, but they're very beneficial. Um, so with a pulse, you can do one of two things. You can just do one pulse and you can increase it to as many times as you want. Uh, for squatting, I like to do a max of maybe like four pulses at a time. But um, so what you want to do is you want to stay in the bottom range when you pulse. So if you go down, you pulse once and then you can come up. You go down, you can pulse once, go up, or you can do four pulses. So you can go one, two, three, four, rise. One, two, three, four, rise. Now from the side, we'll do one pulse, or you can do four. One, two, three, four. When you do pulses, that's when you start to feel 
the burn in your muscles in your legs and it's very effective, trust me. The last thing I'll show you is to really focus on your calves, you can do a squat heel lift. So you squat down and you come up on your toes. Squat down, come up on your toes. And you repeat this over and over, it's a great workout. Squat down, toes. Squat down, toes. So there's a lot of variety you can do. To take off your bar, you wanna give yourself a little hop and then just reverse what you did, bringing it up, bending your legs to put it down. So, in summary, the things that you can control are the weight selection that you use from body weight on up. Your legs are very powerful, so they can handle a load, but you wanna be safe and start from you know, the beginning and work your way up. Then you work on the width. Each different width is gonna focus on a different part of your legs, and we did the heel toe out strategy to widen. You keep your feet always in a V shape and your legs always go out. Your knees follow that as well. You always want to go down and keep your butt just above your knee line at the lowest and then come up. Um, lastly, uh, just popped in my head, you can get creative as well. And let's pretend I have the bar back on, but standing from the initial position, you can step out to the, you know, one side, squat down, step in, step out, squat. So there's a lot of variations that will challenge you, work different muscles, and it's just a great thing. Just in doing this short video and really just it being a beginning type of 101, I'm starting to sweat. That's how effective squats are. It's a calorie and fat burner, like you wouldn't believe, creating power in the legs that we use for a lot of things in our everyday life. And if your focus is on working out and you know athletic things, that's what you want. You want strong legs. Squats are gonna do that for you. And for me, they changed the way I thought about muscle work. I used to do only cardio. I never saw change in my body until I started doing muscle work. And squats are my favorite. They are my favorite. Uh, there's nothing else that I like more than squats. They became my favorite because I think I realized that doing just five minutes of squats, sweating like I do, I thought you only did that when you ran for like an hour. No, five minutes is all you need and you will start sweating like crazy. Um, and also playing with the weights is gonna just increase those challenges. And with the movements that I showed you, it's just all gonna really provide positive change for your body. And so drop down in the comments if you, you know, agree with the squat movements, if you like the ones I showed, if you know of any other ones that you, know, you can type in the comments for other people to research, uh, what your experience is with muscle work versus cardio. I'd like to hear it all. And also, what should the next move be that I work on in, uh, you know, on the fitness side of things? And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I put a lot of quality into my, and thought into my videos. Uh, both finance and fitness side of things uh, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and i appreciate a like a thumbs up and have hope you guys have a wonderful day get out there and squat work out just do good for yourself and we'll see you next time on mark's finance and fitness